Hey guys, this is Sarah from Miss Adventure Pants, and I am here today with a video tutorial on how to check slope angle using CalTopo. And this is so that you can be safer and be better planned when you're going to be out in the backcountry in the wintertime, and especially at times when there could be avalanches, um, because we, we um, hopefully you know that avalanches tend to occur on certain slope angles, um, usually slope angles above 25 degrees, and and um, as you get closer and closer to 38 degrees, it gets more dangerous. Now, before I show you anything, this video is not intended to teach you everything you need to know about avalanches. It's really important if you're going to be in the backcountry, if you're going to be anywhere near where there might be an avalanche, please take a course where someone knowledgeable will take you out in the field and really show you what you need to know. Because obviously, um, this is just one piece of information. It's not going to give you everything you need to know, and it's not perfect either. Um, it's possible that there are avalanche slopes that won't show up on CalTopo that you need to be able to spot in the field with your own two eyes. So, um, but with that disclaimer out of the way, I think this program is super useful and super helpful, um, especially when you're planning. So let's go over to CalTopo. So CalTopo, right here is um, it's a it, it is a free program there's a free version of it that's really useful um, that I is just sort of it's just amazing it can show you topo maps of everywhere in the United States you can print them out you can get a ton of information from it um, there's also paid versions that are very reasonably priced if you want some of the more advanced features but for today I everything that I do I can do with the free version so um, let's say that I want to take a snowshoe to Lake Helene, and that's actually a very popular snowshoeing trip that people take in Rocky Mountain National Park. So I come up to the search field, enter Lake Helene, and CalTopo takes me right there. So I'm going to try to zoom in a little so you can see better. Let's see. Yeah, so there's Lake Helene. And I'm actually going to start this hike right down here at Bear Lake. So my entire route is on the screen right now. Now it's a little bit tricky to see the trail. So what I can do is I can hit, a, I can turn on a layer called Map Builder Topo. And that highlights all the trails in red. So I can see exactly where I'm going to be going from the parking lot then over here and then continuing on all the way to Lake Colleen. Um, it does take away some of the, when you turn on the map builder layer, it does, it's st you still have some topographic information, but it takes away a bit of detail. So um, for example, the name of Lake Colleen is now gone and I know that's Lake Colleen, but if I want to double check, I can go back to this layer called 7.5 Topo Maps and it'll show me all the details again. So I'm gonna come back here for now. And um, so what I wanna find out is if there's any place that my trail passes over or underneath avalanche slopes. So anything over 27 degrees, I wanna be aware of it. Um, what I do, I click Map Builder Topo again, which opens this window over here. And then I click Slope Angle Shading. And you can see something really cool is happening. It's um, CalTopo shading in all the slopes that are above 27 degrees. And there's a key up here. So 27 to 29 is yellow, and it goes up from there. And really, the big danger zone that I'm you know, most worried about is between 35 and 45 degrees. That's actually where most avalanches happen. And then also 32 to 34. And even though they're not as common, I do want to be aware, avalanches aren't as common on lower angle slopes like 27 to 29 or 30 to 31, or really high angle slopes, 46 to 50, 51 to 59. Um, it's, but even though it's less common, I do want to know those are there, because if there was a really dangerous avalanche conditions, I check the forecast, um, I might want to avoid those as well and be aware of them. So. Let's take a look at my route and kind of see where I'm going. I'm coming out of the parking lot. I'm going past Bear Lake. And right away, <laughs> you can see I'm going underneath an Abbey Slope. Um, and it's actually a little bit far back. There might be enough run out if this small slope fell down. It wouldn't come on me. But to be extra safe, what I might do is um, 
cut, change my route a bit and cut over this way, give plenty of run out between me and those slopes. And this is all pretty gradual terrain right here. It's not real steep and it's easy for me to come over the top and avoid that area. Um, I say easy, it might look different when I actually get there and see it. it might be like thick woods or willows, but that would probably be safer, especially if I could see that there was a lot of snow loading this area right here. So then I continue on and oops, now look, I'm coming underneath an avalanche slope up here. And it's not like in the super dangerous area, but I definitely wanna be aware of this. I might wanna change my route and go lower. And if it was very dangerous avalanche conditions, this is an east facing slope. So they tend to get very loaded in Colorado. It tends to be one of the more dangerous slopes in the, in the winter. I might actually maybe not want to take this hike when the avalanche conditions are really are really dangerous. In fact, I wouldn't. I would go and do something where I wouldn't be passing under any kind of avalanche slope. Um, but assuming that, you know, the danger's not real high, there's not a ton of snow up there, continue on and come all the way over to Lake Colleen. And you can see even around the lake, there might be a few features I want to be aware of. There's some slopes right here and definitely up here. I wouldn't want to head too far up this way from the lake because it gets very dangerous very fast. And it's really, you know, hard to tell how far this would slide or where the runout is. So I'd probably stick close to the lake. Um, might even turn on. See, yeah, it looks like there's some nice run out here, but I'm gonna be wanting to watch it pretty closely when I'm there, just to make sure. So that's Lake Helene. Um, a lot of people do snowshoe it, but I would not snowshoe it if the avalanche danger was high. Um, you have to check the avalanche forecast to know that. Um, and that's probably a different video. Um, before I leave you, I'm actually gonna show you one more, just to kind of give you some perspective this one the Mount Evans Road so let me get to where I want to start so this road this is an actual road um, in the summer you can drive on it but in the winter it is closed to traffic and a lot of people like to cross-country ski on it um, but before I do that I want to check the slope angle and just you know see what I'm dealing with so what I can do is turn on the slope angle lower layer and let's say i park my car at echo lake so i'm skiing it's cool i ski for a while and then i come to this curve this switchback area now you see a lot of red down here but that's actually downhill from the road so i'm not worried about that um and i'm on a road so that's not gonna avalanche out from underneath me most likely but if i come over here right before the switchback there is a very small area it looks small on the map of orange dangerous avalanche slopes right here and you might look at that and say wow that's so tiny i probably you know should i worry about that and the answer is yes this is actually the site of a fatal of an avalanche fatality that happened back in I think 2006 2007 um, a cross-country skier was taking this route he was following ski tracks of like many many ski tracks there were tracks going through the switchback and on up of people that had been there earlier in the day and this man just was the unlucky one that <laughs> he was the one going underneath when it when it when it slid and the avalanche took him down pretty far it buried him and unfortunately he didn't survive to be rescued so even these small slopes can be quite dangerous so when you're looking at slope angle just i want you to keep that in mind now one of the great things about topo maps is you can plan an alternate route so you can see that it's pretty easy to cut across the top of the switchback. This is actually pretty gentle terrain. And even in your skis, you could avoid this dangerous area and continue your ski up here pretty far before um, you run into another trouble spot. So, so that's my tutorial on using CalTopo to look at slope angle. Once again, I really, really, really just beg you to get avalanche training if you're going to be hiking, snowshoeing, skiing, cross-country skiing in the backcountry, um, where you're going to have to have good judgments and know about these things. Like I said, um, 
CalTOPO isn't perfect. Um, it's using an algorithm, but there might be small avalanche slopes that it does not show you. So it's really important just to have as much knowledge and judgment and skills as you can have. And that usually means taking a field course. So anyway, I hope you'll do that. And I hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful. And yeah, I will see you for the next one. Happy hiking.